What's up everyone, it's Sweetener here with a brand new video. Um, this is actually my very first video I'm gonna upload to this, to this channel, oh my god. Um, but I hope to make more. Um, this is just a little showcase of my new mod, it's the Camp Cretaceous Parasaurolophus, the bioluminescent one. And I think it's really cool. And I really wanted you guys to see it because there haven't been many videos on it on YouTube yet. Which is usually like where most people get exposed to my mods, but um, yeah, it's really cool and I want you guys to see it. That's basically all I have to say about that. Now, I whipped out a little park here. I don't know why I did that. I kind of like while well, waiting for the parasaurolophuses to be ready. So I just like put some stores in and this thing. I'm gonna say, I think it's Mr. Troodon who made these. The fences are absolutely stunning um yeah i really like them especially this short fence it really makes a little like botanical park kind of thing or like just a general park vibe even though it's super metally and like cement on the bottom and everything it, it's not that heavy looking as it should be so i really like that and also these are from the new mod basically all my fences have been replaced um i whipped out a little river area um based on the scene from the show now before you go into this there there will be no spoilers whatsoever about the show however the dinosaurs you are gonna see are from the show and they've been teased in like trailers but if you don't want to see it i'll just recommend not watching the video if you've already watched by now that's wonderful thank you for the thank you for your view and yeah well just close it, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna keep talking forever. Um, let's watch our pair of swallows. Now, they come in like four, five colors basically, and the sixth one is like a challenge uh, mode unlock, which I don't have because I refuse to do that. Um, just like wait a huge waste of time for for some really like not that great skins, but if you guys have it, you can send me a pic. That would be that would be that would be cool. That would be hip. Alright, let's just jump into it and Alright. Shut up. So this is a the camp Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the Camp Cretaceous um Parasaurolophus. Now it is gonna be very bright to look at because I had to make the entire thing very bright. Uh basically so it could be a bioluminescence dinosaur, so it could shine in the dark. Yeah, I don't know why. Um I don't know why they did that, but it kind of looked cool, it kind of looked creepy, and we're gonna see it in nighttime in a minute, so y'all can like, say, oh my god, how gorgeous this is. And because I made this mod, I can talk about the behind the scenes of it. So basically we have some pinks, we have some oranges, and we have some very, very faint blue around here, which you won't be able to see because the game makes it so white, but in some angles especially at night you can tell it's very light blue and yeah the savannah skin gives you the more um the more blue variant of it it's not super blue again super faint but at night it looks blue and the rest of the skins are just kind of like i don't know what, what happened there all right so now we're gonna just drop out the other ones now it's gonna watch them come out because that's stupid but this is the savannah one. It's basically inspired by the second skin that we see on the show, which is more glowing blue. Um, some shades of pink on the head, but mainly like very light blue. This game is loud as fuck. 
um, and we're just gonna wait for them to come out and we're gonna see them in nighttime, which they are stunning, you should know that. Um, yeah, now, talking about mods, uh, I don't use a lot of mods by other creators, I make most of my own mods, I don't know how common that is for most creators, I make them usually for myself, so most of the dinosaurs I've ever made, most of the mods I've ever made are stuff that I still use in the game, and I made them to use in my game. Um, I have made some mods that are not in my game, like the Skull Island pack, pack I didn't keep it, because it replaces a lot of dinosaurs I actually like. But it was just like, you know, because people wanted to see it, and I wanted to see it very much as well. It's one of my favorite movies. So, I have several mods in the game that are not mine, which is the terrain, this rock, uh, the fences again, and some various, like, some very minor skin or um, model edits. I have Acrocanthosaurus, Gallimimus, stuff like that to fix, like, ugly animals. Um, oh, that's nice. Oh, wow, shut up. No, y'all are so loud. God freaking damn it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna not do that. <laughs> we're not gonna listen to your voices because y'all suck. I don't know what I did. Alright. Fine. So now we have them all out. I'm gonna show you basically how to make a knight that that actually looks good, you know? Because the knight in this game, if you didn't notice, is very shit. Okay, now that they're all out, we're gonna we're gonna put them in nighttime basically, right? So I'm gonna show you how to make a night in game that doesn't suck. Yeah, basically. Because you know the nights in the game are super blue and not very dark. So this is kinda like my way of making a darker night. Um so basically just you know as usual go into sandbox. Put it on nighttime, and what's very important to do is go into settings, screen setup, and change the brightness of your game. Now, this will affect all variants of the game, like daytime, nighttime, dusk, whatever, whatever you're playing on, including main screen. So be sure to change it back to what it was. So for me, it's 0 0.69, whatever it's comf comfortable for you. Just remember that number, put it, write it down, so it will be enjoyable again. But I, I'm i going to put it on something like around 40. You make it even lower, actually. Let's go for 30. I'm just going to go back. And they shine in the dark. And they're absolutely stunning. Now, why they shine in the dark is because this part of their body is so bright that it's basically super brighter than everything else in the game and it just like looks bioluminescent. And it really depends on the angles, but they really look like they do shine in the dark. And it's gorgeous, if you ask me. Also this mountain right there with no texture on it really makes me makes me mad, you know? Anyway. Anyway, alright, sure. Um yeah, they're gorgeous. Now, I have watched the entire show, no spoilers, but it's a really, really, really good show. I really recommend you to go check it out if you have a chance. And although these weren't my favorite stuff on the show, I thought the general idea was really cool, especially like heading towards the show, like before watching it, I shut up. Before watching it, I thought like, oh my god, it's gonna be so cool. It was less cool than I imagined. It wasn't as cool, but it was still very cool. Um, yeah, definitely the weakest part of the show, if you ask me, like, was the Paris Wolf scene, it was really weird for me, um, but, but it was, it was still enjoyable, it was still, it wasn't, like, the weirdest scene, let's say it like that, there were several weird scenes on the show, but, like, most of the show, like, 97% of the show was really good, so I really recommend you to go check it out. Yeah, they're really pretty. Where's number one? Number one, you are my favorite. Um, why are you standing in the shadow? So, yeah, if you... I think I lowered the... 
Yeah, I think I made it too dark. Let's go back to 40. Yeah, it looks slightly better. And it's still nighttime. They still shine, but now they shine slightly brighter. It's very beautiful. By the way, oh my goodness, shut up. Okay, we're gonna watch it from afar. Okay, by the way, all those um, mods that use very bright colors, I'm pretty sure Bumpy, the Bumpy mod that's out there, and the uh, Shark Trodon thing, I don't know what that is, but all of them are gonna be bioluminescence. And, like, they're all gonna shine in their art because of how bright they are. Trodon also is gonna shine in Darkus's eyes a little bit. We can, we can just, like, whip one out right now. I'll show you that. Um, basically, the eyes are super bright, so they do kind of shine in the dark, but not like fully. Yeah, they're cute. It's it's really nice. I, they are really so cute. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's really cool. It's real nice. They don't look that bad at like daytime. Like, not bad enough for not wanting to use them at all at daytime. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in my game. I think I'm gonna go back to the original uh, Paris Rolifus or the Echo Green uh, website skin, which I actually like a lot. Um, but... I don't know, these are, these are quite nice. They have something to them that other dinosaurs don't. The fact that they just like shine in your nights, like imagine like going through night, like going through a day cycle in the game, and just like it's, it's turning into night, and suddenly you see these like shining in your enclosures. That's kind of cool. They are very beautiful. I'm gonna tell you that. Well, I'm just gonna wait for the trodon. I'm just gonna cut a cut straight ahead for you to see it because I'm not gonna wait for you guys all around. Um, yeah, let's just jump there. Alright, we're back with the Troodon. This is the engine list Troodon. You can also get it, like, separately. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just take it out. I don't know why I did that, but, sure. So, as you can see, the eyes kind of glow in the dark. They're not, like, super glowy from a distance but like if you just look at it okay run over it sure just look at if you just look at it from a very close distance you can actually see they that they are much brighter that's because they are brighter so now we have two dinosaurs of the dark in our park like i don't know it's, i find it like very very cool that we can have night time dinosaurs maybe we can like do a nighttime park. Kind of like use a penna, but like more like with like specific dinosaurs, you know, like dark time dinosaurs. Um, yeah. I basically have all my um, mod packs on, like every, like the exotic dinosaur pack and the dehydrated and all of that. So if y'all want to see like a park with those, that could be cool. I do want to make more parks. In the future, <clears throat> I just don't know when, basically, or what kind. I want to do something that's interesting for you guys. So, if you have any suggestions or ideas or stuff you want to see, just put them in the comments. Um, that would be great. Now we're just gonna end it here with the with which one of you I like. Let's see you with the this drinking. Paris Rolophus. Um, so again, th thank you guys for watching. This is really like, you, like you don't have to do this. You know, like I don't get what you spend like minutes from your day watching me, but you do. So thank you for that, for giving me that time. Uh, if you like that video, please give a like and subscribe. Just imagine that every like of yours will shut up these Paris Rolophuses. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching me. Thank you for watching them. They don't appreciate that because they're dinosaurs and they're fucking stupid. And I'll see you in the next video, I guess. Bye.